so hi all today in this video we are going to see about site security okay so for the site security i have created very simple e interface you can see here this is a home page okay which we will use in the site this is a very simple process model in which i have used a simple start form with only one rule input name is there okay and one script task is there to capture just the date and time with a now function okay so let's go and create our site so let's go to a new and create a site so let's name it as site security okay so i have named is site security fine and the display name as well we can just name it security fine and let's click on create so you can see that a new dialog box has opened and this is the very important part of the site security here you can see that this is the list of the user or groups who will have access to this site and this is the permission level like default users will have no access default users should have no access at all and this is very important security which we will try to see okay and users have viewer and administrator have admin permission and here very important tip is written like basic user must have at least viewer rights so first of all you should have at least viewer right and it is also saying in addition a basic users must have visibility to site page so what two things are there first of all whatever the things uh, a site has for example let me click on the save and you can see a new window will open with site configuration here we can configure so and this is our site so first of all what this site security was telling so let's go to the security once again and we'll see so it is saying that it must have at least viewer permission for the site fine so currently our site is empty fine viewer permission is i have the viewer permission because i am part of both the groups and uh, in addition means it is saying like additionally they should also have visibility to the site pages as well and at least viewer to each report record uh, interface all th all the things okay here you can see like interface as well you should have viewer permission then only we will be able to see it fine so this is our site currently nothing is configured so let's go and configure some pages so let's add our first page it will be home page okay and this is the home screen that i have just created and let's add this ui so you can see that i have added the ui let's click on here icon is important so let's write home and let's write it and now let's add our home page so now our home page is ready let's click the changes save the changes and now you can see that i am able to see my home page here whatever has been written and why i am able to see it because uh, like i am already part of this group so you can see like but what if i log in with another user and then with that user i will able to access the site or not that we will see so you can see like i have went to the admin console already and in the admin apn administration console you can go to the users and here you can see like i have created a user called peter parker so i will try to log in with the help of peter park fine so you can see like i have tried to log in once because but it is giving an error okay it is giving an error that we you will not be able to log in so how can i log in so to in order to log in let's paste our site url here okay so this is the url for our site and let's try to uh, add our url here and let's click on save so you can see that we are able to see our uh, site but here it is saying that access denied you do not you don't have permission to view this page so i don't have permission right so uh, because I, this user whatever this user is peter parker you can see here it is not able to uh, see because this it is not part of either of this you can see that this user is not at all added in any of these groups so first of all either we can add it to those groups or i can see but how do i know that this user have access to this group or not okay so in order to see that let's uh, you we can go in the rule and there is a function to know like which user 
so this user is there i don't know which what all the roles this user have peter parker right so first of all let's see the rules for the user okay so if we go to the functions tab and here if we go to the people function where we get all the groups function so you can see that it is groups for users and uh, all these functions are written that okay groups for user function is there and if i say in the username logged in user right if i say logged in it will give us all the groups so currently you can see I am part of 58 groups. I am currently logged in as my original account from which I am admin as well. So you can see that 58 groups are there. A lot of groups are there. And whatever the groups that we can see in the site security YS administrators, for example, this one, uh, control F, control B. So this we, I am also part of this group. So that's why. But what about the user? Peter Parker right so let's try to search what all user groups the user is part of okay so let's see Peter Parker and now let's click on this so you can see that Peter Parker is only part of six groups and neither of these groups you can see all tempo ch hr users neither of these groups are here so either you give access Okay, so two ways are there. Either uh, the groups which Peter Parker is part of, either add this group. Okay, first part is what? Go to the users, add it. That's fine. Give the viewer permission, save the changes, go to the site, refresh it, and he will be able to access the home page. This is the first method. Or you can do what like if you don't want to add any new groups here. So either go to this group, okay h uh, oh. okay uh, let me just cancel it i deleted the wrong group i guess hmm. so either remove this hr users you don't so either go to this group okay so currently you uh, or add the members here as peter parker so peter parker add it in both the cases okay okay so let's uh, save the changes currently you can see and in both the cases the Peter Parker will have access to the site okay here are uh, now as well he is able to access the site so this was about the groups part okay now what about the interface interface has a security of its own so currently you can see users have viewer access right and it is inheriting the security from the parent rules and constant if we don't give the permission from here so you can see that if I go to this group and from here you can see all these sites are there and here the security is who will be able to access so currently I add in the users group right my Peter Parker let me just refresh it I added in the users group about the in uh, okay now let's see about the our process model let's add our process model in the site so let's go to the site in the add pages to add process model you can choose action here and here we can say a simple form okay and for the form part we can just click on this and here what is the name of ys sites can say site security this is the process model and now click on save the changes okay so currently you can see that I have created this process model and I am able to access this as well here let's click on refresh and you can see another pages is there form right so if I enter some data in the form like test name okay click on submit the data is submitted let's go to the process instances and you can see like one instance of this process will be here let's click on all process instances and fine so currently it has ran and whatever the test name that I have given it is here as well so will I be able to access from this site as well let's see it okay so uh, let's see so here as well form is there and I if I test data so if I submitted the form from here as well so it will be able to submit the data from here as well and it is successfully submitted test data is fine so you can see it but 
sometimes what happen is the users for example some user will not require access to this form as well so instead of in the visibility we can control it so let's click on the edit and in the visibility what we will do is here the condition is like only show when right we will not show this to this one so currently you can see that my site has a security okay the, okay here only we can see it let's set our security see our security first okay so currently the user is part of the admin group as well and ys users group as well so i only want to see that if user is part of ys admin then only they should be able to see the form page and how to do that in his site page as well you can see a very simple configuration is needed so here only you can see a uh, like uh, it is saying with the help of one function user member group we can do it so let's try to add the same thing here in our site as well okay so let's go here and let's click on the form okay and only show when only show when is user member group of is user member group of and now is user what should be the username username will be of logged in user okay logged in user is the username for that part and which groups which groups he should be part of so i want that they should be part of ys administrator groups okay so for ys administrator groups what i will do here is uh, i will create a constant for my group ys admins pointer you can say something like this i will create a constant and in the group it is of type groups and here we can write i ys administrators and now let's create it so this is the constant for this one and admins have access to this one let's go to our site object yeah and cons bang this group is there so if the user is member of logged in user then only the form will be visible right let's click on save and let's save the changes as well and let's see see i am part of the admin group that's fine so i don't have to care about the form but let's see the other user which is peter parker here see it is peter parker and let's see refresh the site and let's see what happens so you can see that an error has occurred the page does not exist or you do not have permission to see it it means that i don't have permission for the uh, process model page so that was one part if i have not given the visibility condition then i am not able to see that page at all okay fine so what in, so now what i have to do either add the user to the admin only so you can see here this is the group and this is the administrator group so go to the either admin groups and add the peter parker there then he should be able to uh, access as well so let's go to the admin let's go to sorry not new groups but add members and let's add the peter parker here so i have added the peter parker and let's click on add groups is updated and now let's see the uh, refresh it and now you can see the form is visible to us so that is one part okay uh, so we have seen two parts of sites uh, our sites here okay so let me just open this so for the site we have seen the security okay uh, what all the security as needed for pages as well we have seen the visibility visibility condition uh, what all the visibility were needed okay and let's see one more thing that uh, individual so currently this site security let me open it to open the process model security let's you can go to file and security so ys administrator are the process administrators for this users have only viewer permission okay what if both the permissions are deny i don't give any permission to anybody then what will happen see in order to update security you don't have to publish the process model and now let's try to see our form here what will happen 
so from you can see again an error is there the accent doesn't exist or you do not have sufficient pub privileges to view it because i have updated my process model it means that whatever the object okay so uh, object security object security as well we have seen it okay so if i don't give permission at all then what will happen they will not but if i give see pro process my initiator is more than enough admins will have admins user has just initiated as well then as well it is fine and i will be able to access my form as usual and able to save or you can say like submit the data as well okay so in this way we have seen about the sites okay and their security you can say site security and whatever the pages that are configured in the sites for the pages as well we have seen the visibility condition you can see that we have added a very simple visibility condition okay and the third part is what object security so whatever the uh, objects we are trying to create it site objects okay in the last at a uh, use site pages whatever the pages we have configured interface same thing will happen for the interface report record as well we have seen for the process model part okay so that as well we have covered for the site so either two things are very important like whatever the groups okay groups configured generally this thing only happen groups configured uh, for sites so if user doesn't have added then add user to the group then add the user to the group that's it or you can say like or uh, the user uh, or add group in sites where user is user is present so generally this thing is very less likely to happen because user can be present different groups but we will only add them to the, the groups only so this is only the most preferred way of adding or updating the site security so that was all in this for now okay so that's all thank you